the rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another great Wolf first impression. This episode, Doyle's new album, Doyle 2 As We Die. Now, Doyle 2 was released June 2nd, 2017, so this is a first impression. I listen to the album for the first time and give my thoughts or impressions on what I thought of it after listening to it once. So this basically it's days after it came out that I'm doing this. Now I've never actually listened to Doyle's solo work outside of the Misfits. So this is the first Doyle album I ever listened to. I didn't listen to the first one. I'll probably listen to the first one later on. But for the time being, we're we'll talking about this one, the sequel. Boil to as we die. So let's talk about the first song, which is Kiss Me As We Die. Now I like this song. It has like this Black Sabbath intro. It kind of sounds similar riff-wise to Children of the Grave by Sabbath. The vocals here, they're good, but they could be a little bit higher in the mix. I don't like how uh, they're mixed here. It's a very melodic solo accompanied by like thunderous riff and then if you know, uh, there's like female vocals in this song, which is Alyssa from Arch Enemy. She's featured in this song, which I thought was pretty cool. Hearing her voice, her clean voice in, in this song, I thought it was a nice little touch. And I like this song, I like this song. From the first time hearing it, having never heard anything with Joy Alyssa from Misfits, this is really cool, really, really, you know, heavy stuff. So let's go into the next one, which is Best Like Me. This is a very heavy song. It's a great song, it's pretty cool lyrics. It's more of the same as the last one, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go to the third one, which is God of Flies. Alex Story's vocals here, they're pretty good. I still don't like how they're mixed though, but you know, the instruments are real heavy here. And you know, this album is basically, if you like one song, you like them all. I don't feel there's a bad song on here. And I feel it's all just like, it's really good. It's a really good mix of like horror, like horror punk, and like heavy metal. So for the most part, the first three songs are good. Let's go into the fourth one, which is Run For Your Life. Now, this one has like this doomy intro, much like the first one. And Alex here sounds, I, I've heard comparisons that he sounds like Phil Anselmo. And this is the one where he really does, to me at least, sound a lot like Phil Anselmo from Pantera. I feel this song flows very well though. It's very fast and the drums are very just, you know, intense. It's just a fantastic song overall. It's a great song. So let's go into the fifth one, which is Dark Side. Great drums, right off the bat are these great drums. I love the dark lyrics on this. Really cool, great vocal melody from Alex. The guitars, fantastic. The solo here is very good, very you know, spooky, very horror. Love solo, really good. Good song, let's move on to number six, which is Witchcraft. Vocal melody flows really well on this one. It sounds like dancing at times. Something dancing would have done either with Misfits or Solo. It's, you know, it's kind of, and then the song just gets a little bit more upbeat as it goes along. I love the bass on this one, it's really good. It, the bass goes really well with the guitars and has a fantastic solo again. So let's move on to number seven, which is King of the Undead. Love guitars here. I love the guitar squeals here, very Pantera-esque. Alex, his vocals are really dark and gritty on this one. The guitars are real loud, you know, real loud, nice pitch harmonics heard on this one. Alex's vocals near the end are just so raw. You know, I love them. And just a great song overall. So let's move on to number eight, which is Virgin Sacrifice. Uh, this is a real heavy, yeah, melodic song, really cool throughout. Featured, you know, Randy from, uh, lead singer from Lamb of God, which is my favorite modern band. So it's a really nice treat to hear him on this. Uh, I had only heard that Alyssa was gonna be on here. I didn't know Randy was gonna be on here. So it was really cool when I found out he was on here and he was on this song. Such a cool song, so good. We go on to the next one, which is number nine, which is We Belong Dead. The vocals uh, from Alex uh, are very reminiscent of Danzig again. It's very like a classic Misfits song. It has 
the song has like this, this melody of like an, an old song, you know, something from the 50s or 60s, which again makes me think of Misfits because you know Misfits would, would do songs like that that would sound old, like 50s or 60s songs, and add their own little horror uh, spin to it, which is uh, what I'm hearing here. Which I like this. This is basically what Misfits would sound like current day with, with you know classic lineup a bit heavier. So let's move on to number 10, which is Show No Mercy. Uh, again, Alex really sounds like Phil Anselmo here, but I love the rhythm of the song. It's really good rhythm of the song. I think it's a great song. That's all I gotta say, so let's move on to 11, which is Dark Gods Arise. And this one's real metal. Alex sounds great. I love the guitar chugs. It's just a real heavy song overall. And as I said, if you, if you like one song, you like them all. They're basically, they're very similar, all of them. That's, that could be thought of as a bad thing, but I mean, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So let's move on to number 12, which is Blood on the Axe. Okay, so this one, this one's very Pantera. Again, it just sounds very much like Pantera, but it's really dark. I love the solo on this, and I, just, I love the speed on this song overall. So I think it's, it's a pretty cool song. I, I read that Doyle's name was like, Sonically, was compared to something like Black Sabbath and Pantera and Misfits, and I really I do see that, I hear it a lot on this album, being the first one I've ever heard of them. But I like that, I like that mix. So let's move on to number thirteen, which is Night of Sin. It's one of my favorite songs on here. It's real fast, it's powerful, just like nasty drums. Alex's voice just so soars over the riffs, and. It's really just, it's a very strong finish for the album. It leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting to listen to the whole album again, which after doing this, I will listen to the album again. And I will go get Doyle's first album, Abominator. Overall, with this album, I haven't heard it for the first time. I haven't heard, you know, the first thing of Doyle for the first time. I'm very pleased with it. I really like the mix of like the hardcore punk, uh, later Misfits, with, with like just the, the heavy metal all combined, you know, with horror lyrics, and it's very dark, and uh, Alex's voice. It just, it's a really nice overall package of the whole thing. And I had a good time with this album, I recommend it to anyone who's ever heard of Doyle's albums, of anything else like The Misfits, or just people who are expecting a sequel to Abominator. I think this is a good album. Uh, I'll get back to it, I just, my only thing was that the production, the mix might have been better a little bit better, just Alex's vocal is going to be just a little bit better in the mix. But overall, the guitars are louder, everything's louder, everything's fun. So I really like it. Good album. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to stay metal, stay devil, stay evil. Alright.